All right, EDC fans, the time has come. I've got the latest Going Gear EDC Club, the premium box for April 2023. Let's see what's inside this thing. What's up guys, Eric here from At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Going Gear EDC Club unboxing. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the premium box. This is a really cool sub, guys, if you're into like knives, flashlights, anything that you carry with you every day typically has some really interesting stuff. Two different flavors of this one. There's a standard box, it's I believe $59 a month, and then this is the premium box which goes for $199. If you want to get this sub for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description. Uh, so this one came wrapped up in like a, a postal service envelope, so it didn't have tape on it this time, which is odd, but I'm finding out what's inside just like you. So let's pop this open and see where we're going with this thing this month. Okay, so what is that? We got some coffee, instant coffee, I guess. Uh, Kubi knife and a, looks like a giant mouse. I actually don't have a giant mouse knife, so this is cool, new to me. We've got some swag, something like that. Our Going Gear sticker, little teeny stickers now. And then of course our No Frills Going Gear EDC Club guide every month, which I kind of like for some reason. Uh, so here we go, we'll start out with the standard box. Like I said, this is the cheaper one, this is the premium stuff. Okay, so it looks like the Kubi is the premium knife. Um, and our standard, it looks like we have a giant mouse knife, uh, a little swag pack, I guess that's what this thing is, and some coffee. You know what, let's work our way up from the bottom. We'll start with the coffee this time, because that's kind of interesting. All right, so I have to admit, this is not what I would expect to receive in a box like this from Waka Coffee and Tea. Some light roast instant coffee. I wonder if this is like, you know like the Starbucks Via, do they still do that stuff? I used to take that stuff camping all the time, and it was great. Uh, little single serve packets, let's, Open this seal. Looks like this is more like a little value add, maybe. I don't know. Don't knock it till you try it, that sort of thing. Oops, all right. So it looks like I just dumped a whole bunch out for one thing. Uh, pretty straightforward. Looks like we just have some crystals, I would guess. Light roast instant coffee. Just give it the sniff test and I can't smell anything through the packet. It says pour into a cup, add eight to 10 ounces of water, stir and enjoy. I wonder if that means you can do it like cold if you want to. Let's see if there's any more details. It's cool, it says they donate uh, some different places. That's really cool, always like a brand with a cause. Let's see what's on here. Really, there's not a lot of details in this stuff, so I'm just gonna have to try it on its own, but all right, I'll throw that in a bag. Worth having at work one day when I'm in that two o'clock funk and need to pick me up. Um, again, kind of a strange thing for going to your EDC club. In fact, I'm trying to remember if we've ever had like a food item or a snack item, at least as far as I've gotten the box, I don't think so. So, interesting. Okay, so we're working our way up. Giant Mouse, again, a uh, really cool brand. I've actually never had a knife from those guys. So I'm excited about that. We've got this little swag pack, which they don't put like a dollar amount on or anything. So this is meant to be a bonus item. Maybe like a morale patch here. Kind of a cool Viking theme. It's neat. This is a sticker. Maybe a few stickers. Okay, that's cool. Little Mean Mouse Guy, another kind of a, taking that sticker, Viking thing. I really dig this one. That's a cool logo and cool colors of that. Lots of stuff here. <laughs> Shank sharpeners. Look at this thing. Little Union thing. That may go on my laptop. That's pretty rad. It's almost like a challenge coin. All right. Those are really cool. I always like getting swag. Um, that is a underrated value of getting these boxes and stuff is getting lots and lots of cool stickers to put on things and kind of make stuff your own. So pretty rad. Let's get to the knife here. We have the Ace Nibbler compact and efficient folder. It's a small knife, but it checks all the boxes you expect from a Vox and Anzo design. Inspired by the character Nibbles Tuffy Mouse in the cartoon Tom and Jerry. All right, a two inch N690 steel. That's interesting, aluminum handles. All right, let's open this thing. Not familiar with this one at all. Oh, okay. Looks like it's gonna be real tiny. We've got some paperwork. Real tiny. Okay, look at this thing. All right, this is cool. You know, I'm gonna get the old bug out mini. Already a tiny knife over here. I'm breaking into the packaging on this. Look at that. So we got this itty bitty little EDC knife. Cool little clip there. Almost, almost deep carry. Got a little lanyard hold there. A tiny little thumb stud. It is really smooth. <laughs> Look at this thing. All right, so for size reference, I do use this Bug Out Mini, a very tiny little knife. Look at this little thing. So the Ace Nibbler, really tiny, um, a tiny bit thicker. It does have like a nice backspacer and everything. A little itty bitty little liner lock. 
I actually kind of dig this little guy. Oop. Lock up seems good. Okay, cool. I like the little clip. Tiny little logo, if you can see it there. Little detail. Ace N690. Little blade. Very sharp little guy. A little pokey edge on it. This may be just a thing for you if you work in an office or something where you want to have a tiny little blade on you at all times, but don't want to carry like a big bad boy or anything. This little thing's cute as crap. <laughs> I really like it. Very smooth too for what it is. Just a minute ago, you may see me hesitate when I opened it. Um, it seemed like the blade wasn't totally locked. So make sure when you open that thing, it's so tiny and the action is so smooth. You want to make sure that little liner lock um, gets in there and pops into place. Uh, but what a cool little thing. You can't see it probably on the camera. There is itty bitty microscopic jimping on uh, the little locking mechanism there. But what itty bitty tiny comfortable little blade. Finger kind of goes right there on the edge. Interesting. All right, so standard box. You have this itty bitty little knife that because of the materials and the finish and everything else punches way above its weight class. So tiny. Okay, for reference here, let's get that mini bug out. Something a lot of you guys are probably familiar with. Already a tiny knife. And keep in mind, I have smaller hands too. Look at the size of this thing. That's funny. Okay. Interesting. So the giant mouse, Ace Nibbler, $95. Premium material, as you can tell. Just excellent finish all around. Really cool kind of an electric blue colorway on that too. Lots of fun. Okay. That's fun to start out with. That's our standard thing. Some cool swag down here. The coffee still throws me off. Interesting item there, but hey, not gonna complain about that. Let's move up to the Kubi knife, which is the Monster Dog with titanium handles, $175. Um, I'll be honest, the only Kubis I've had um, in the past are kind of the value uh, side of things, uh, the less expensive knives. So it's gonna be interesting seeing a more premium version of their stuff. Let's see, not much else on here. We'll slide this thing out. All right, cool. Got a little sleeve cover, got this little friction box. Uh, whoa, all right. Total opposite end of the spectrum here. Look at this thing. Beefy and kind of mean from the first glance. Pop this seal open as well. This is cool, it said titanium handles. It's got some heft to it. I'll tell you that just from pulling it out of the box. All right, cool clip. Look at this very cool kind of, uh, I don't even know what you call that pattern. This thing feels sweet though. Uh, nice clip there, just about, yeah, kind of a deep carry clip. All right. Whoa. All right, so that thing is bad to the bone. It's a nice, uh, sheep's foot, short, but very cool blade. I, I wish, I don't know how much the finishes on this are coming through on camera, but it has, a, it's almost like a, like a coffee espresso kind of um, pattern here. It's not textured. So what you're seeing here, there's no um, dimensionality to it at all, but very cool, I guess, kind of an anodized finish. Look at those thumb studs. It is a uh, frame lock. Yeah, it feels very smooth. All right. Very interesting thumb studs there. Big, chunky thumb studs compared to kind of the, I'll bring the bug out back in again. The typical really skinny little thumb studs that you get a little bit of purchase on. You flick stuff open and everything. But these things are massive. Wow. Cool jimping. Feels really nice. A little jimping on the back spacer. Thick and chunky, but also, man, this goes in your hand like butter. Let's check this thing out here. Let's get some details. Stands out from the rest, that is for sure. Resemble a monster or a dog's head when held horizontally. <laughs> okay. All right, so satin finished sheep's foot blade made a CPM 20 CV still. I'm showing M390 on the blade here. And a 6A L4V titanium handle and a frame lock. Comes with a titanium pocket clip and pivot cap cage ceramic bearings that is super cool it definitely feels very silky seven inches long 4.8 ounces like i said it's a little heavy but it feels very very well balanced in the hand it says for people seeking something smaller but reliable it definitely has a cool different look this is a showpiece knife 
Um, definitely will get some looks. Just a crazy looking blade profile with that sheep's foot there, but very, very cool. Can't get over the finish of this. That is rad. Really nice uh, matching hardware throughout too. Kind of keeps that, I don't know what you call it, like an ice blue colorway. Kind of keeps that theme throughout. Uh, the locking mechanism here, just it's got a nice groove for your thumb. Feels super comfortable. Uh, let's check out this little pocket clip here. Feels pretty nice, kind of a cool ridging there. Man, this thing is sick. That is probably one of the coolest premium knives I've seen come and go in gear so far. Very, very interesting, something out of the norm, but also something a lot of times you get like a crazy blade uh, that looks absolutely wild. I think like one of the best tech knives we had a while ago kind of had these crazy organic lines that, although it's interesting, like for me, it just, it was a little bit too crazy. This thing has a way of looking totally different but also really, really awesome. Um, so very, very interesting. Okay, so there you go. That is the April 2023 Going Gear Premium Box. We've got in the standard edition, this little Ace Nibbler. Look at this tiny, tiny little knife. Uh, little knife, big knife, kind of funny. Uh, we've got a little swag pack. We got this coffee over here. And for the big boy, we've got the Monster Dog, which kind of lives up the name from Kuvi Knife. Very, very cool. If you want to get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description. Uh, a lot of fun, really will keep you on the top of your EDC game. One of my favorite subs for sure. So that is it for this video. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton and subscribe if you want to see more awesome EDC stuff like this in the future. We'll see you next time.